So out here on my morning hike, my rucksack, I got my backpack on with some extra weight for some extra workout. And uh, above my above my right shoulder, I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's a herd of mouflon. There's about probably 30 of them, like maybe 40, I don't know. But they're like, I don't, they look like bighorn sheep type creatures and they just wander through the forest and the fields here and Rhineland Faults and um, we see them, typically we see them a lot when we're walking in the springtime. So we're here um, uh, mid to late February and they'll probably be around for a couple more months, I guess. I don't know where they go. Maybe they're here. We just don't ever see them in the summertime or any other time, but uh, yeah, so pretty cool. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, February, uh, but it's nice and sunny and warm and the trails are, are nice and uh, it's a great way to, to start your day. And another wild animal we have out here, if you could see these, this field here, it's pretty tore up. We have wild boar and they will come through. You can't really see it so well, I think, but they will come through and they will tear up a field. And it looks like someone just came through and ran a garden tiller. They'll root up the ground so much. It looks like someone just ran through over and over again with a tiller. Maybe you can see it a little bit better now. I don't know, but they've been through here rooting up something. Probably a lot of worms or grubs or something out there. Wow, look at that, isn't that beautiful? You know, Rhineland Faults is a really, it's a very beautiful part of Germany that uh, in here, we're not near anywhere close to any real tourist destination, but it is very, very pretty here. It's a nice place to be. That sounds so nice, Brooke. Look, Betty's here too. So she does exist. She comes out with me sometimes too. And uh, yeah, just enjoying our Saturday morning. We've hiked about through the forest, through the fields. We've hiked a little over four miles, about four and a half miles, I guess. And we took a big circle. And now we're at the next village down from our village. And we've got the town fountain here. We've got some upset dogs <laughs> off in the distance, I guess. So yeah, a beautiful day. I don't know how old this barn is. The house next door has a sign above it that says 1894. I imagine this barn is probably about the same time. Nice stack of wood. Oh, let's see. There's something written above that door, but I can't tell what it says. Oftentimes these old doors, you can see there's some sort of writing there. They'll say what year they were made, but I can't make that out. I'm not sure when this one was made. Look at this old barn. And I really like this old door. I like how cool that is. All right, so we're hiking along and you know, the, the stereotype of a German is that they're kind of cold, they're kind of, um, you know, maybe not so openly friendly to strangers. Uh, and there's, you know, there's probably some truth to that, but uh, I think it's, it's a bit overblown. And I found that, uh, you know, they're, uh, you know, they're just people and they can be very nice as well too. So we've been hiking and we've been hiking around this area for about five miles now. And we've met several people along the way and they've all said hello. You know, they've all said good morning and you know, been very nice and, and cheerful. But we were just at this, uh, at a corner in that little village we were at and across the street from a house and we were looking at the trail sign trying to figure out which way to go. And uh, the sweetest couple 
this older couple came out of the house across the street and I'm guessing that a lot of people get lost. I think the sign is not so clear and a lot of people apparently get lost. So she came out to make sure um, that uh, we knew where we were going and she told us which direction to go and uh, how far it's going to take to get there because uh, she seemed awfully concerned that we don't climb up, it, climb up in here uh, in this uh, in this trail in this forest and get lost and uh, I would like to say that uh, she gave me a nice compliment on my German speaking skills now I don't speak a lot of German I do speak a little bit I I'm pretty shy about it so I don't like to I'm not very comfortable with it but of course I do speak some and uh, she says she doesn't speak a word of English and uh, she asked me where I was from I told her I was from the United States and she was very impressed with my German speaking skills so uh, a point for me today in the German speaking department how you like that there's our trail markers we know we're still on the right trail Just going through the forest here got another little babbling brook Here in the forest, it's very, very nice. It's very peaceful. I, I love to come out here, but um, um, being out here in the last few months or so, one thing that uh, weighs a little heavy on my heart is um, um, if you saw my first video that I made in the forest, you noticed I had a, a hiking companion, Mocha, my dog. Well, um, unfortunately, um, uh, we lost Mocha a few months ago. Um, yeah, she was a sweet girl. She um, she was uh, almost 15 years old, and uh, she just got to the point where she was having a lot of health issues. And uh, um, yeah, she just wasn't doing so well. And, and she finally got to the point where she hurt her leg and just couldn't get up. And uh, for several days, she basically just um, didn't move. And so it was a very tough decision, but uh, Ultimately, we decided to have that sweet girl uh, put down. So every time I come out here, because this was Mocha's favorite place, and she would run around, and she loved it out here. And to be out here without her is um, is a little sad. Yeah, it's a little, to you know, get a little uh, emotional. She was uh, she was my hiking buddy for uh, for uh, like 15 years. Yeah. We've had quite a lot of rain here recently. And this is one of the first sunny days we've had in a few weeks. So it's nice, it's very nice to get out here and take advantage of it. Got kind of a cool old bridge here. It's been unseasonably warm really, but um, it's been very rainy. little stream runs right through our village where our house is at sometimes you'll see fish in here I think they're trout I'm not really sure but uh you occasionally see some fish in here sometimes pretty big ones actually and one of the nice things about these little village trails in Germany is that if you get tired there's always a random bench every few kilometers to sit down and, and take a break and always with a Mülleimer trash can you sit down and have something to eat or drink you can put your trash away there's a nice mallard swimming over here and, ooh, uh, well I guess I just scared them off Sorry, ducks. So there's our, so there is our village uh, stork nest, and uh, I don't see them today. Just a couple days ago, I saw a stork in there, 
and normally they come every year it's right there on top of the light post they usually come into springtime so i think they probably just came back but we'll see them again in the next few days all right so back home a little about six and a half miles our hike and uh through the the villages and the the forest and the fields here outside of our house so it's very nice very very lovely to be here shall i say um yeah, so join us next time when we go on another traveling or maybe hiking adventure. Thanks for joining us.